Yo, so I told dudes, um, I'm gonna do three three little shows. You feel me? Rikers Island joint, the up north state prison joint, and I'm gonna do a Brownsville joint. Know what I mean, growing up in Brownsville joint, you heard? A lot of these stories, a lot of these stories come from out of my audio book. Like I got an audio book called Kids with Guns. You understand what I'm saying? It's a tragic tale about Brownsville, Brooklyn. Bunch of kids running around with machine guns and shit that should have had other opportunities instead of truckloads of guns and drugs in the late 80s crack era in Brownsville, Brooklyn. That's what my audio book is about, which I'm trying to get to pop to a movie. You feel what I'm saying? Because when I sit down and tell this story of my life to somebody, it's going to have to hit the big screen. You understand what I'm saying? Because there's a message in this, a message about gun control. It's a message about a lot of stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Drugs, poverty, and the whole shebang. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? We're going to get into other, we're going to get into some other details later. This one time in Brownsville, this the time when niggas jump me. If you grow up in Brownsville, man, you, you, you're going to get jumped a few times. You feel what I'm saying? Dude like me, I got jumped a thousand times in Brownsville and all over the place. You feel what I'm saying? So this one time it was Easter Sunday. This had to be like 89 or 90. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm going to 275 in junior high school in Rockaway and Hegeman in Brownsville, right before you hit Canarsie. It's like on the borderline of Brownsville and Canarsie. So I got to start going to that school. School was dumb. Wow. I'm going to tell some stories about that school, too. Niggas was 12 years old having shootouts. Real talk. In my junior high school, niggas was having shootouts. Like, I mean, another junior high school, Marcus, that's the most popular junior high school in Brownsville. They always had beef for 275. I ain't know that. I would have just went to Marcus. Instead, I went to 275 and I got caught up in that bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? But it was wars in my junior high school where niggas was having shootouts 12, at 12 years old, 12 years old, 13 years old. I mean, niggas was bringing their older brothers up, 14, 15, and niggas be having bang outs in the school park. You feel what I'm saying? They used to be saying this shit over the loudspeaker, yo. Shots was fired in the school park. You know I mean, everybody gonna be escorted to the buses, shit like that. School to be um, uh, uh, let out early today, shit like that, because of the, the because of the shootout. It was real like that. So this one particular time, it's '89. Like I said, I'm in I'm in 275, running to this kid. You know I mean, my son who used to live in my projects in my building in Howard. You feel what I'm saying? He moved out of there years ago. I never knew what happened to the nigga. So I see him like, oh shit, son, what up? He like, son, what up? Now I mean, so I'm pollying with son and shit. You feel me? Now I mean, son like, yo, my nigga, now I mean, I'm in the gang now. You understand what I'm saying? We getting it popping. So at the time, the gang was called YBM, right? Young Black Mafia. So you know what I mean? Me, 12 years old, being mad thirsty. I was thirsty to be in any type of gang. I was like, what? Yo, put me down, son, put me down. So he like, word, I'm gonna put you down. I'm gonna introduce you to my niggas. You understand what I'm saying? son live like you know what i'm saying like across the street from van dyke in them private houses you feel what i'm saying so son used to be like yo i'm gonna put you down i'm gonna, I'm gonna introduce you to the team niggas is real niggas da, da, da. so i'm like all right so now i'm amped now i'm feeling like i'm in a gang i'm feeling like i'm tough you feel what i'm saying anybody from howard remember i used to tag ybm up on all of the buildings in the hallways niggas used to be getting mad yo the store no nigga little nigga keep fucking tagging up ybm everywhere man stop that shit you understand what I'm saying? So I was trying to jack my gang at an early age. So this is how I learned the gang shit wasn't for me. You feel what I'm saying? So boom. So like I said, I think I'm in this gang. I think we, I think, I mean, I'm tough. I'm feeling myself. I'm like, yeah, I got a team. I mean, niggas will hold me down if something pop off, whatever. So one day, Easter Sunday, I'm going over there to go check my mans. You feel what I'm saying? I'm stupid fly. I got on a red, white, and black Jordan fly, um, flight suit with Jordan on the back, you feel me? And I had them red and white flights with the big tongue, you know which joints I'm talking about, them air flights, the red and white shits to match the suit. So I'm dumb fly, jacket, you know what I mean? All this shit swishy, swishy shit, you feel me? Okay, I'm like, let me, go, let me go to my son crib over there by Van Dyke. I mean, probably like 11, 12 years old, 12, yeah, 12 years old or something, know what I mean? So I walk over there. Me and my man, you feel what I'm saying? We, me and my other man from my projects, you feel what I'm saying? My son, so we go over there. 
I see. As soon as we get on the block, like as soon as we get all the way down Mother Gaston, you know what I mean? We turn up. You know what I mean, I'm walking, I'm walking under the train station. You know what I mean, I'm heading towards my man spot. I just see a mad group of niggas, like 10 deep, Van Dyke niggas, little niggas and all that. Little niggas mixed with older niggas. So once I saw them niggas, I already knew it was on. Niggas was staring at my shit. I'm like, and none of these niggas was dressed for Easter. Now that I'm a grown ass man, you feel me? I understand, like, you know what I mean? Nigga can't be running me, you can, but it's like you running around mad fly with some niggas, they parents was on drugs, they couldn't afford none of that shit. You feel what I'm saying? I'm running around mad fly. You understand what I'm saying? So I see them niggas, so I hear niggas like, yo, get that nigga, son, get that nigga. So we a block from where my man live at that got the team that I think is my gang. You feel what I'm saying? So these niggas start chasing us. Mad deep, know what I mean? So I ain't have nowhere to run, my nigga. It was too many of them niggas. And back in the days, you know how niggas used to do, send a little nigga out. This happened a hundred times in my life. Send a little nigga out first and a little nigga be like, what up, what up? Then if you do something to the little nigga, the big niggas try to jump you. You feel what I'm saying? So little nigga runs up to me. Yo, nigga, take that jacket or take that jacket. My nerves and reflexes, I just snuffed the nigga. Bong. You understand what I'm saying? He was a little nigga. He dropped. Bong. Nose bleeding. Rest of them niggas start trying to jump me. Bing, bong, bing, bing, bing. They trying to snuff my man. Bing, bong, bing. My man tried to snuff one of them niggas. Bing, bong, bing. You know what I'm saying? But we was outnumbered. It wasn't, it wasn't nothing we could do. It was like 10 of them and two of us. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm running. I'm like, so literally, I'm these niggas chasing me and they trying to tear my jacket off of me. And I'm holding on to my shit and I'm running. Them niggas trying to tear my jacket. I finally let my jacket go. You understand what I'm saying? And them niggas got the shit. Know what I mean, and I'm like, yo. I'm laughing. I'm like, yo, come, nigga, chase me. Chase me, nigga. Come to my motherfucking, my, my man block, nigga. I got my gang over here. I'm like, I ain't saying all of that, but I'm like, yeah, nigga, come. Come, come. So I go, I knock on my man door. I'm like, yo, son. Yo, son, niggas is out here trying to jump me, son. Bunch of Van Dyke niggas. Niggas trying to jump me, son. My man was like, yo, son, I can't come outside. I'm, I'm on punishment or some shit like that. Nigga, close the door. My face, bro. It was a hundred niggas out there. I run across the street to the other nigga crib that he fucked with that was supposed to be the head of the gang and shit like that. I knocked on that nigga door, yo, son, niggas trying to jump me, son, what up? Let's regulate on these niggas. That nigga was like, yo, I ain't got nothing to do with that, son. I room, closed the door. I'm like, oh, man, so now these niggas out there waiting for me, you feel what I'm saying? I had to scrap off with them niggas. Them niggas jumping me. You understand what I'm saying? I'm scrapping off trying to get back to my projects. Them niggas chasing me. All they got was my jacket. Them niggas wanted my sneakers, my pants, everything. I was like, the fuck out of here. I was fighting them niggas and running. You understand what I'm saying? But none of them niggas popped off. None of them niggas came out, held me down. None of that, my nigga. And from that day on, I was like, I'm Gucci with the gang shit, nigga. I'm Gucci loafer, Gucci wallet, Gucci gang, everything. You understand what I'm saying? I'm a one man gang. Fuck it. You understand what I'm saying? I'd rather be outnumbered. You understand? But yeah, niggas ain't do shit. Niggas jumped me. Niggas took my motherfucking um, flight jacket. I'm saying niggas was hating, man. Niggas saw that flight suit. I understand. You see a 12 year old nigga with that Jordan flight suit on with them flights. Psh, niggas shit shape up looking crazy. Flat top. Now I mean, I was just looking too fly for them niggas. Like them niggas hate just bursted out like, oh, get him. Now I mean? Them niggas hate was like, get them. Know what I mean? So I understand, my nigga. They got the jacket, but they ain't get them pants. They ain't get them flights. You feel what I'm saying? It is what it is, nigga. And I was laughing when y'all niggas was chasing me. One of y'all little niggas, I bust this snot box open. You feel what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Know what I mean? Y'all niggas was 10 deep. Y'all jumped me. It is what it is. I ain't even mad at that shit. We was little kids. I look back at that shit. That shit is funny as fuck now. You feel what I'm saying? Niggas close the door on my face. You.